Hello, Jessica here. So I'm back with another Disney Manny. My Manny, I will put that up in the cards for you. I'm going to be using all Lavender Violet's gel polishes uh, for this Manny, including uh, base and top coat. I'm back with the Moon Sugar decals that I got from Amazon that I used in my video. And uh, I have a little container of these hollow Mickey sequins. Those are from MVP Nail Designs. So I'll leave all of that information linked below. We'll be using some gems. But I'm getting right into the nail art. Um, the video was quite long because we were doing something kind of a little bit different on each nail. So the video was truly like over an hour long. So in order to kind of just, you know, get right to the nail art, uh, I cut a lot of um, sort of like the in-between things like putting gel base coat curing or things like that. So it's really just going to be what the nail art is on each nail that I'll be showing you. And some of it is a little bit um, repetitive because I did polka dots and on my Manny that you can see on my thumb there and um, we did some polka dots polka dots on hers as well and uh, it came out really cute though they both they both came out really cute so um, all of the base colors that you're seeing on my mom's nails uh, those are all gel polishes from that Lavender Violets kit. Um, my mom gets the dip flu pretty bad. Um, if you're familiar with using dip powders and you're on any of the Facebook groups, a lot of people will talk about um, having cold-like symptoms if they're using um, the, the dip powder liquids and dip powders and things like that. And she could be sitting just across the room from me, not even doing her nails or anything like that, and just from me doing my nails on the opposite side of the room, she'll get symptoms of the dip flu, so not, uh, not great. She wanted to do a mani, but she didn't want to do dip powder, so she did gel, gel polish instead. So my attempt at freehanding a Mickey is a little bit <laughs> coming out a little bit wonky, but uh, I did kind of clean up or a little like move the gel polish a little bit with my silicone tool, so I kind of have uh, a little bit more of a defined um, Mickey ears, so to speak. Um, this one was probably my favorite nail out of the whole bunch for my mom's set we just did uh you know a simple mickey mouse shape with uh the gems so the bigger gem you know there for the face and then the two smaller gems for the ears and i thought that was really really cute
And then this one was kind of a last minute decision. We were trying to do another decal, but um, because the decals are kind of uh, on like a clear background, they just don't show up on dark colors that well. So we decided to do a little bit of uh, striping tape, but I'm just gonna do kind of some uh, polka dots um, on the bottom half of her nail. So I have to say, while, while I think the Manny's, or at least her Manny, looks really um, fun, it is very time consuming. <laughs> because, of, you know, of course, since we're doing this at home, she doesn't really have to pay for all of this nail art, right? So <laughs> she wants something different on every finger. <laughs> oh. But I love my mom, so. She gets what she wants. <laughs> Okay, so we're just finishing up with the cuticle oil. 
Uh, let me know what you think of um, these manis, of, of both of the, the Disney manis. We had a lot of fun when we went um, to the park as well. But uh, let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome to anybody new that has recently subscribed. I truly appreciate it. And look at how cute these are. <laughs> it's got some little polka dots, a lot, lot of little Mickeys. And I love those hollow Mickeys. You can, when they hit the light just right, you can see all sorts of different colors. But they're so cute. So like I said, until next time, bye for now.